In this video, I'm gonna tell you all about my favorite WordPress-based form builder for this year. Stay tuned. What's up, it's Dave from Profitable Tools where I review software to help you grow your business. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite form builder for WordPress and that is Fluent Forms version 3.5. Now, there are other more well-established or more well-known form builders out there, so why would I pick Fluent Form, a relative newcomer to this field, as my favorite form builder? Well, it comes down to three things, speed, style, and momentum. What am I talking about? Let's talk about speed. Getting Fluent Forms installed and loaded on your website is super fast. There's a completely free version I recommend everyone checking out. Just go to plugins, add new, search for Fluent Forms, and install the free version right here. You can see I already have it installed and activated on my site. Once you've got it installed, go over to Fluent Forms and then hit all forms. Then you can quickly add a new form right here by clicking this blue button. Right away, we can see there are four templates you can use to get forms loaded really quickly. If you want, you can start from scratch. If you really like the idea of having templates, well, you can buy their pro plan and unlock dozens more templates for all sorts of genres like education, marketing, nonprofits, IT, HR, finance. It goes on and on. There are literally dozens of templates. To show you how fast and easy it is to get a form loaded up, I'm just gonna choose this contact form, hit create form. The editor loads up here where I can add new fields or customize the template. This is very much like a page builder experience where I can simply add text by dragging and dropping modules on. If I wanna add a date and time picker here, I can can do that as well. You can see there's quite a few fields here under general fields that we can add to our form. We can go down to advanced fields and we get a little bit more functionality. Now, some of these are grayed out and that's because we have to unlock them by purchasing the pro version. I do find the free version extremely full featured. We even get conditional logic. For example, if I wanted to go click on this email address, I can go down to the advanced options and I can turn on conditional logic. Now this field will only show up when certain conditions are met, like the first name being equal to Dave. Getting notifications when someone fills out your form is super easy and customizable. If we go under settings and integrations, I can choose email notifications. Now, by default, it's disabled, but I can turn it on by just clicking that little slider. And then over here, I can change the actual email. You can see we get a reasonably full featured email editor over here, complete with the WordPress visual editor. Over here, you can add your own custom CSS and JavaScript to the form if you like. Back on the all form screen, I can see the short codes for each of my forms and easily embed them into a WordPress page. I'll just click to copy the short code, create a new page, give it a title, and I'll paste in my short code. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Here we go, it looks just fine. Now it's just taking on the style of my theme because I haven't done anything to actually change the appearance of this form. More on that in a second. As a marketer, I really appreciate the analytics that are built into Fluent Forms. Now you can toggle these off if you want, but over on the All Forms screen, I can see how many people have viewed my form as well as how many people have completed it or entered it. And that gives me a conversion rate over here so I can see if I need to tweak my form a little bit or maybe the page surrounding it to get that conversion rate up. So you can see with just a few clicks, I can install the plugin, load up a template, and then embed the short code, get going right away with Fluent Forms and end up with something looking pretty nice. But what about connecting it to your email autoresponder or maybe a Google Sheet? Well, Fluent Forms has got you covered there too. Let's head over to modules. And here we can see all of the different integrations that Fluent Forms works with. Now this is gonna be the dividing line between the free version of Fluent Forms and the pro version. In the free version, we can only integrate with MailChimp and Slack. Everything else is going to require the pro version. So let me go pro, I'll be right back. All right, we've got Fluent Forms Pro installed. Now let's see what's changed. I'm gonna head back over to Fluent Forms and let's go ahead and edit this form. Now the editor looks mostly the same, except of course the other fields are unlocked. But once I'm done editing my form, I can go up to here where it says preview and design. Now, because I've got Pro installed, I've now unlocked their form styler. There is several templates I can choose from. Here's Modern Bold, Modern Light, Classic, Bootstrap, and Custom. Under Custom, I'm gonna be able to change the colors and typography for each element of the form as I see fit. For example, let's say I want to change these labels to have a lighter weight. There we go, that looks better to me right away. 
Maybe I'll make them a little bit lighter gray as well. There, that looks good. I can change the input and text areas and edit the typography for them. We can also style the placeholder text, which will be the default text that's filled in the form. Now you can customize what's in this in the previous field where you're actually building out your form, but here you'd be able to change the color and the typography for it. We can also change the style of the radio and check boxes. And of course the submit button can be styled however you like. Red's always a good color for a call to action, don't you think? There's separate selectors for hover colors. And once I'm all set, I can just save my settings. For easy access, you can grab the short code right here or just exit out and get it from the main menu. So I told you there were three reasons, speed, style, and momentum. We've talked about speed and you've now seen how easy it is to style your form. So what do I mean by momentum? When it comes to a form builder and new features, Fluent Forms is at an insane pace. I mean, here is their change log. This is only since December of last year. Here's a few of my favorite recent additions to Fluent Form. I'm gonna click on my form and go to settings. Now there's an option here that wasn't here in the free version and that is landing page. What this is going to do is enable a landing page for this form. I'll be able to add a title. I can describe the form right here. I can upload my own logo, featured image, and background image, and they have some preset styles. Of course, you can customize it as well. Let me just add a page title and a short description and we can see what this thing looks like. Let's save settings. Then down here, you'll notice a landing page URL. I can also visit the landing page by just clicking on this red button at the top gonna open up the page in a new tab. And here we go, we've got a very nicely designed landing page that I could send out to a customer and have this up and going in just a matter of maybe a minute. I know a lot of people like to accept payment via forms and good news there because Fluent Forms added payments in version 3.5. You can accept payments via either Stripe or PayPal. Here's how it works. There are four new widgets in the bottom of the editor here called payment fields. What you'll wanna do is add an actual payment field. This is where you can customize what people are paying for. I'll go ahead and label this. How about a site audit? Then under payment amount, you can enter in your price. If you have multiple items, you can choose a radio checkbox or checkbox selection, but I'm gonna stick with the single item for right now. And we can even give it a label if we don't wanna use price, I'll call it cost. You can decide whether this field is required or not. Heading back to the editor here, you'll probably also want to specify the item quantity. You'd be able to do that right here with a quantity field. And then finally, you can choose the payment method. So if you're using both Stripe and PayPal and you wanna give your customers an option, you can do that. Now, I have the test payment enabled, so you're gonna see that down here, but you could choose PayPal if you like. But what about donations? My church or my organization accepts donations via forms. Can I do that with Fluent Forms? Well, of course you can. They have this custom payment amount right here. We can add that at the bottom and then and then when people visit your form, they'll be able to enter how much they'd like to give to your organization. Fluent Forms does have the ability to accept signatures if you buy the signature add-on pack. I think this is a really great option. Adding a signature is super easy. I can just add it right here below my payment information. You can see it says signature field. Let's go ahead and save this and see what it looks like. Here is my landing page and now it's been modified a little bit to accept some money, but I've got a nice big signature field here that I could sign with my mouse or if I was on a phone, I could sign it with a finger. Of course, you're gonna wanna prevent spam and bots filling out forms so you can enable reCAPTCHA, it's super easy to do. Let's go over to settings and then down to reCAPTCHA. Here you'll enter in your site key and your secret key from Google and then you'll be able to add a reCAPTCHA module to your form. Let me show you how to set it up. Here's the Google reCAPTCHA page. I'm just gonna go to the admin console. We'll click this plus button to add a new site, give it a label, choose reCAPTCHA version two, enter in the domain that you wanna use it on, accept the terms of service and hit submit. There we go, we got our site keys. Let's just copy and paste this over into the plugin. We'll save Save settings and validate that you're not a robot. Save again and we have success. Now when I go back to my form, I'll just hit edit and under advanced fields, I can find reCAPTCHA. I'll scroll down to the bottom of my form. It's getting pretty long right now. And we've got that reCAPTCHA field down at the bottom. Go ahead and save this. And here's what it would look like. I can click it to prove that I'm not a robot. It's verified through Google. There's no cost to that service. Google provides it for everyone just to make the internet a little bit less spammy. Now there's some more advanced features inside of Fluent Forms, such as the ability to do user registration where you can have someone fill out a form and automatically get a WordPress account on your site. You can also do a custom post creation based on the content of a form. So you could have someone fill out a form and it actually creates a post inside of a custom post type. Now that's material for a dedicated video. So if you wanna see me set up a user registration field or a custom post type inside of Fluent Forms, leave me a comment down below and I'll put it on the calendar. So you're probably 
starting to see why I like Fluent Form so much. It's just a nicely organized plugin. Before we go, I'm gonna show you how to set up a survey or a poll. Let's go over to Fluent Forms and choose New Form. Then I'm gonna scroll through the templates until I get to this market research survey. I'll hit Create Form. All right, now let's just go ahead and preview what this looks like without any editing at all. So you can see this is a multi-page form. I haven't really shown you that at all in this video, but it says how often do you use your our product? Let's say once a week and hit Next. Then we've got a long form question here I can answer. What similar products do you use? I'll hit Next. And when did you last purchase our products? We got a checkbox here. Have you had a chance to review our newest product? This is a radio button. We'll hit next. What do you think about our new product? Two form fields here on a single page. What's your least favorite thing about our new product? And how do you feel about our product pricing compared with similar products? About the same, enter your age range. This is another checkbox here. And here's a really interesting form that I believe is unique to Fluent Forms. It's what country are you from? This is just a module inside of Fluent Forms. You don't have to enter these all by hand. It's gonna give you a list of all the countries in the world. I'll choose United States. Hit submit form. There we go, we got our thank you message. Now, what does this look like to actually set up? Well, let me show you. So here it is inside of the editor. It's actually super easy to understand how a form like this was built, despite how complex it might seem. We've got a question and then a page break, another question, another page break, so on and so forth until the end of the form. I think it's so cool that I can have this complex of a form built with just a click using one of their templates and then easily modify it for use with my clients or my own business. That's gonna do it for my look at Fluent Forms version 3.5. I think you can probably see why it's my favorite form builder for WordPress in 2020. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave me a message down below. I try to get back to everybody. And hey, head over to the Facebook group. We've got a really active community over there of like-minded entrepreneurs trying to grow our business with the best tech around. I'll see you in the next review.